want to have any comments to maybe <coughs> It's recommended for a zone change simply because the parcel is already split by two different commercial zones. It wasn't that that parcel isn't available to be developed in some commercial fashion. The fact of the matter is where it just makes sense to make that parcel one unit, okay, instead of split zone. The next step, first of all, shouldn't even be looking at the site plan. It has nothing to do right. with your board at this time. What it's strictly use. Just okay? And you can you could done. use that front section regardless for the bank. Okay? And the back section could have been used as an accessory use for parking. When they put the drive through there, it only made sense to make it one unit as general commercial. And to go through your concerns, they will be addressed. Trust. Okay, because okay. when we purchase the property, if you go online to ongov.net, it is listed as a residential one property. Which one's that? The whole site. Hmm. Right. I know. It, it, I'm not sure I'm why not sure it's why. listed that way. I, I, I've asked before why it's listed that way. It's mm -hmm. not listed as a commercial property at all. True. I mean, that doesn't make sense mm -hmm. to me. I, I can't I don't. address that. No I, and unfortunately, somebody owns the property and they do have a right to some use for that property. It's unfortunate. That you don't. <laughs> no, I, I guess our, our main concern is that it was from the access that we have online, it's zoned residential, and um, then we get a notice saying that it was zoned general commercial. I, I just, I, if I could, real quickly, I just want to make sure people understand that a lot of times on a Dog County property tax records, they reflect the use of the property, not necessarily how it's zoned. And that can absolutely be confusing to people who don't deal in this area a lot because a lot of times the use of the property is not consistent with it's, how it's zoned. It's, the use is listed as 330 vacant commercial, but it is a residential really? one site. Yes. Really? <coughs> they, they, they it has no zoning on it at all. It's not listed. They, 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 don't, they, don't, they, don't, they don't have it. They don't, yeah. they don't list it. The, zone, the zoning, right. I believe in our maps when we look at the front is general commercial just as uh, the gentleman stated. I, Chad, just one more thing. There's there's no intention of giving any access to Thompson Road to that parcel. That's it's not been discussed, but there's no intention. Yeah, that is one of the issues because we had heard from our neighbor that owns that property that she had sold that to Pathfinder Bank. And that will come up, obviously, in planning. That's okay. They could own it. There's no intention of giving them access to Thompson Road. Okay. Thank you. You have a comment, sir? Just, just very quickly, uh, Tom Schneider, I'm the president and CEO of Pathfinder Bank. And, you know, I, I can join this, uh, you know, Rick stated, we'll take this up in planning. But, um, you know, if, if you look at the other properties we developed, our purpose in, in entering the community is to be a very big part of that community. And so, you know, what we'll be doing is taking into consideration the both, both the planning board's recommendations, of course, but the neighborhood's concerns. Thank you. And I can assure you, if you look at our other properties that we've done, <coughs> such as in Central Square, you'd be pretty pleased with how those turn out. Thank you. Does anyone else like to speak in opposition? We're still at this portion of the meeting. Could we do an address, please? Jim Letterman, Sandra Ad. Um, my, my comment mainly to the to the uh, planning board, but I would like to know when the next planning board meeting is so I can attend it to make sure the drainage and everything is taken care of this site. They're listed, they're posted on the I believe, is it on the agenda for Monday? No. No. No, you, you can um, contact either the zoning office by phone or check the town's website um, and information on agenda items is available there. It's usually the first Wednesday and the third Monday. Monday. But you'd have to call first to see if Wednesday. this item would actually be on the agenda. Thank you. So anyone else would like to speak in opposition? I'll close the public hearing at this time. Solicit town board comments. <coughs> I can't hear you, Vern. Can't hear you. Vern. Can't hear you. That's not your mic. I thought there was uh, general commercial all the way up uh, on the south side of 31 to South Bay World. If you look at the maps from Vern and uh, Wayne's office, why that happened is I don't know why. 
I thought one time it once changed uh, jumping all the way up there. I don't believe so. That's going to take quite a while to see that. But the, front, the, front it, the, the, the front of the parcel is general commercial. So that is the back end of the parcel. Yeah, well, they would be front the front is general. Right. Okay. Why would they have done that in the first place? The, there are there are many parcels in the town that are like that, where the, the zoning lines split the property parcel because it wasn't done parcel by right. parcel setback. up and down the road. It was done by the setback from the road or you know, some other reasoning when they did it. Okay, Oh, I think it's good we could have a little competition with M and T Bank here. <laughs> Can we have some lights? Any other questions? No. Can we have to make a motion? Oh, no. Ooh, I'll make a motion. Hey, no, hold on. <laughs> Sorry. I just wanted to review the county planning board's referral. Um, they did recommend that this request be disapproved. Um, they advised that this board can't thoroughly evaluate the zone change until the ongoing study of the Route 31 corridor is completed. Um, we don't know when that will be completed. Um, and their second comment was the proposed zone change permits uses which do not appear to be consistent with the adjacent residential neighborhood and may have a substantial impact on community character raising issues such as traffic patterns, drainage, lighting, and noise. Um, but as we just noted, the front portion of this property already is zoned that way. Um, so that's the county's referral. Um, and then also, uh, we determined that this is an unlisted action um, under Seeker and you were provided with um, a draft short environmental assessment form. If you agree with the um, information contained in it, I'd suggest that you um, issue a negative declaration under Seeker um, regarding this, this zone change. Do the Seeker first? Please. Motion to approve is presented. Second. Mr. Conway? Yes. Mr. Tarwacki? Yes. Mr. Leibach? Yes. Mr. Coral? Yes. Mr. Kaczynski? Yes. Now we can do the zone change. Yeah, sure can if you'd like. I make a motion that we change a zone change of 6194 Route 31 from neighborhood commercial to general commercial. And it's in form of motion. Second. Mr. Conway? Yes. Ms. Tarwaki? Yes. Mr. Ryba? Yes. Mr. Coral? Yes. Mr. Gazinski? Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Read it. That's why I don't.